So what's the best way of generating leads for your business online in the 2020s? Well, let's first cover what a lead is. Basically, a lead is someone's contact details and them having taken an interest in your company. So think about it this way. If somebody subscribes to your newsletter list, if somebody downloads something on your website or someone fills out an inquiry or contact form, that is what we would consider a lead. Effectively, it's the contact details of a prospect that would be a good fit for you as a client that your sales team would want to follow up with and try and get as a client. So what's the best way and how do you generate leads online and how can you use the brain's leads on tap system to do that as the most effective way for your business? Well, there's three major components to effective lead generation online. The number one is obvious, it's the online advertising component. You have to be able to target who your prospects are, whether you're doing it on LinkedIn or Google Ads. You need to know exactly what constitutes a good prospect. You then go out with Google Ads or Facebook Ads or LinkedIn Ads to those people. The second bit is your content strategy. So what are you going out to these people with? It's not good enough to just have a generic ad that says, hey, you should work with me. This is what my business does. In order to get lots of leads, you need to give someone something of value. We usually call this a lead magnet. And this is something that you advertise around the internet, which really is irresistible to your target prospects. So let's say myself as a marketing agency, I would have a guide to retargeting, let's say. I know that business owners and marketers are really interested in retargeting people on the internet. So I would create a guide about that and I would send it to them through advertising. They would then download this guide and give me their contact details. This shows that they're interested in marketing, they're potentially interested in my company, and I now have their contact details. I've also given them some real good value and painted myself or shown them that I'm an expert in the field. So I can pass these leads on to my sales team unless I automate my follow-ups and nurture them. And that's very much the third part of lead generation. You see, not all leads are equal. Some leads are ready to transact immediately. Think about it this way. If someone gets onto your website and fills out a contact form based on a Google ad search or whatever it is, they're going to be very interested in working with you. They are literally asking you to give them a call. If someone downloads a lead magnet, like a guide to retargeting, they might not necessarily be ready to choose to pick you as a supplier. They might not even need a marketer just yet, or they can't afford it. So what you want to do is keep top of mind, keep demonstrating to them that you're an expert, that you have expert in different areas, and you do this by following them around the internet with further ads and automating emails that are personalized to them going out every week until they are ready to become a client. So this is the marketing automation piece. If you can combine the right online advertising strategy with the irresistible content, perfect for your target audience, and have a great follow-up and retargeting process in place, you're going to have the most value out of your leads, reduce your cost per lead, and get more business overall through online channels. 